Alright guys, today I have a really interesting card trick to show you all. So essentially, um, you have this deck of cards, and what you're going to have you do, or what you're going to have your spectator do, is you're going to have them pick um, really any card they want to in the deck, and you're going to tell them that you're going to know exactly where it is. So, um, this actually works better if you have two spectators. So let's say we have one spectator go ahead. Let's say spectator number one says that they want, let's say they want to pick the suit of the card. So they go ahead, they pick any suit. Let's say they were to say diamonds. What you do is you'd go through the deck real quick. You'd show them, all right, so you want a card, right? The diamond looks like this. So they have the diamond picked out. And you say, all right, so spectator number two. Uh, the first one's picked a diamond. Go ahead and pick any value you want for this diamond. So let's say they were to go ahead and they were to pick nine. So let's say they want the nine of diamonds. And at this point, guys, you are going to tell them that you're going to look for the card. And this card is going to be in the 16th position. So you go ahead, you take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. The sixteenth card is the nine of diamonds. So this is a trick and it works for every card, guys. If you want to do it, don't break it, stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so uh, a while ago I said I was going to make another video using the size step and stack. Now, um, I know it's kind of annoying to put it in this order and if you don't know, I'll be showing you guys how to do that as well, but um, if you do have a couple of decks laying around, I would advise you to probably just, you know, take one of those decks and then put it aside so you can solely use it for this. Only because there's a lot of cool tricks that involve this, but anyways, here's what it looks like. So as I was editing the video, I noticed that I completely messed up in uh, teaching you guys these size 7 like I put them in the wrong order, but essentially, um, you guys didn't see that, so this is going to be how this trick actually works. So you go ahead, you go through the four suits, you have um, the clubs, the hearts, the spades, and the diamonds, you'll have these ace through king in this arranged order and then what you're going to do is start off by taking them and putting them in something called chased order so you have the clubs the hearts the spades diamonds it's important that they are in this order so you go ahead you start off by taking the ace from the clubs you put that on top and you add three so then you go to four you take all the cards from below so you take the four you give the cards a cut and then you add three so you're going to get to seven you're going to cut the cards at 7. You're going to go ahead and go to 10 on the diamonds and go ahead and put these together. So this is the first part, and then you're going to put these in the same exact chased order. So you have clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds, and you keep doing this until you have the entire deck in that size step in order so this is the first part and then i'm going to show you guys how to do the actual trick so this one is a little variation of a trick i saw a while ago now essentially um like i said this card or this deck is in size step and stack now what you're going to do is uh the way i'm going to teach this to you guys is going to be a lot easier than the other way that i've seen it done but essentially it's really great if you have this for two spectators even if you have one it's not that bad but if you have two spectators it makes it a little bit easier so uh, in this case let's say we have the first spectator over to the left here. Now, when you're talking to them, you're going to tell them that they're going to pick any, you know, any uh, suit they want to from the deck. And as you're doing that, you can go ahead and give the cards a few cuts. Now, when the deck is in size 7 stack, it doesn't matter how many times you cut the cards. So you can cut it as much as you want. Um, at this point, they, let's say the spectator was to say a club. So you say, all right, so you wanted to pick a clubs. And what you're doing is you're going through and you're looking for the king of clubs and now what you do is you cut the card alright so if they said hearts spades or diamonds or whatever you would look for that king you would take the cards from the king and then you would cut the entire deck so now the kings on the bottom you say alright so the club looks like this right alright so that's the card you want or the suit and you leave it on the table and that's the one way of casually getting the deck in the order that you need it to so um, I'm gonna go ahead and have the second spectator let's say they can pick any value and here is what you are going to do so there's a little formula it takes two seconds but essentially let's say the spectator picks any value of the cards let's say they were to pick a number like 10 so um, there is a way to do this trick where you actually eyeball the bottom four cards um, but essentially you'd have to have them laid out a little bit so you can kind of memorize the bottom four cards here and then you know anyways here's how this is going to work so let's say the king's value is obviously 13 so whatever value the spectator card picks, so the number, let's say they wanted to pick the 10. So they pick the 10 of clubs um, combined. And so what happens is you're going to take the number 13, and king is worth 13. So you take 13 minus 10, which is 3. And now whatever the difference is between the king and the card they chose, whatever the, uh, the difference is, you go ahead and multiply it by 4. 
and that is going to be the position of the card. All right, so I don't know if this is going to really help you guys, but essentially this is what is going to look visually. So you take the number 13, so that is going to be, you, the, the 13 is a standard number. That is going to be there every single time for the trick. You've moved the king to the bottom. That's why you take 13 minus the value of whatever card they pick. The jack's going to be 11, the queen's going to be 12. And whatever the difference is, we're going to call that x. Okay, so it could be any number. In this case, we use the 10, so the difference is going to be a 3. And then you always multiply the difference by 4, regardless what the number is. And whatever that number is times 4, that is going to be the position of the card. So this is going to be the visual. I'll leave this up here in case you guys still want to see that. But essentially, like I said, we're going to do 3 times 4, which is going to give us 12. We take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We are going to have, what we say, the 10... With the ten of clubs, there we go. So you got the ten of clubs, and that's how the trick is going to work. Um, and like I said, there was another way to do this um, where you don't necessarily have to have two spectators and all that. But if you guys want to see that, you can leave a comment. But this way is a lot easier, guys. All you have to do is ask the spectator uh, what suit they want. In this case, let's say they wanted to pick a spade. So you say, all right, so you want the spades. These are what the spades look like, right? So you have them, you look at that. You have the king set up. They pick whatever value they want. Let's say they were to pick an eight. So you do 13 minus eight which is going to be 5, 5 times 4 equals 20, their card is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, this is going to be their card, we said the 8 of spades, so that is the trick guys, hope you guys like it, and as always, thanks for watching. She's a literal